Good evening, Niseko. I'm Jeff Curry, and you are listening to Into the Mystic, a program where I talk about the power and mystery of the music that moves us. I'll be introducing artists that I've had the good fortune to know and work with over the years. And this week, I want to introduce an amazing jazz pianist and my good friend, Greg McKenzie. Uh, Greg is probably my favorite pianist to play with uh, when we're talking about standard jazz. Um, he is one of those players that has it all. He's got an amazing swing feel, uh, jazz vocabulary, and uh, lots, lots of uh, originality. And he's also one of those players that... Uh, that makes the whole band sound good. He, he's he's one of those guys that uh, it doesn't matter who you are, you know, or your level. You just seem to automatically play better when when you play with this guy. And uh, I remember back in 2009, um, Greg and I had kind of a steady gig. Uh, we would play maybe once or twice a month at uh, the Shiba Park Hotel. In Tokyo and um, we would play every Friday uh, a couple Fridays every month and um, one night I went in and um, there was a whole recording crew in the uh, hotel and I was like oh wow I didn't know we were recording he's like yeah we're recording a CD tonight (laughs) so I was like oh man I had no idea and we were just playing standard jazz so it was cool but uh, yeah, that was that was a big surprise, and that came out uh, back in 2009. So it's called uh, Friday Jazz Night live at the Sheba Park Hotel, and uh, it was uh, Greg McKenzie on piano, James Mahone on sax, and James uh, was a great sax player. He he still is a great sax player, but he moved away. He's back in uh, California now. Myself on bass, and uh, Mitsutaka Uyama on drums, and. Uyama-san, I haven't seen him in a long time, so we've kind of drifted apart, but he's a great drummer. So if you get a chance, go to Greg's website, uh, gregmckenzie.com, G-R-E-G-M-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E.com. He's got all the information about his music on his site. So let's check out a 2013 recording uh, of Greg's trio. Greg has an amazing trio. It's Greg McKenzie piano, Don Falzone on bass, and Gordon Lane on drums. These are his friends from the United States, and this is called uh, G and J Blues from the album Shades of Blue.
All right. Greg McKenzie, G and J Blues. That doesn't get any more real and bluesy than that. I love it. Um, yeah, again, that's from the Shades of Blue album. And you can check out his music on gregmckenzie.com. Greg has been uh, lucky enough to travel all around the world. Um, he's he's toured a lot in Asia, the Middle East, and Europe. Um, and he even had a steady gig uh, back when the World Trade Center in New York was still standing. Um, he was uh, playing at a place on the 107th floor of the World Trade Center building back in the 90s, I believe. And... Uh, yeah, he's just a great piano player and a great songwriter too, arranger. And you can find all his music on his website, and you can find some albums on uh, iTunes and Spotify if you are on there. And he also has a great YouTube channel, so everything's linked up at his website. Let me give you a little bit of a background about Greg. It's uh, His bio is very long, so I'll try to keep it short. Craig McKenzie, international jazz pianist and composer, whose crossover from Chopin to Oscar Peterson continues to mesmerize audiences with his unique sensitivity, original arrangements, and show, uh, showmanship. He was born on April 26, 1962, in Trenton, New, New Jersey. Growing up, he played various instruments, including ba- bass clarinet, saxophone, trumpet, and timpani, until discovering a stronger connection with the piano, which later became his primary instrument. In August of 1976, McKenzie lost the tip of his right index finger in a lawnmower accident, but he continued to play. So he, he plays a great piano, and he's missing half of his finger. <laughs> he was recovering for two years and, uh, and continued to get inspired by uh, many different genres of music. Uh, from 1996, McKenzie produced his first CD entitled Happy Endings at Rainbow and Stars, the cabaret adjoining the Rainbow Room at the top of the Rockefeller Center. During McKenzie's three-year stint at the Rainbow and Stars, he opened for Joe Williams, Vic Domino, Ruth Brown, Anthony Newley, and Rosemary Clo- Clooney, amongst many others. During 1999, he began traveling internationally as a soloist to four continents, Africa, Asia, Europe, and North America, performing at many venues such as the Hilton Tokyo Bay, Millennium Hotel at Abu Dhabi, and the John Palace Fest in Morocco. By 2000, McKenzie was invited performing piano concert tour of Taiwan, concluding the National Theater and Concert Hall Taipei. And these days, you can check out Greg playing at the Palace Hotel every night. And he plays in different configurations, um, solo, the solo duo and trio. He plays uh, with special guests there. It's a great, great night. So, Palace Hotel, Tokyo. All right, let's listen to one more song. This is uh, another song from the same album, Shades of Blue, featuring the same guys uh greg mckenzie don falzone and gordon lane and this is uh the title track of the the cd this is called shades of blue Thank you. 
All right, Shades of Blue, from the album Shades of Blue, Greg McKenzie. Um, please go to Greg's website to find out more. G-R-E-G-M-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E dot com. And you can check them out also on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you get your downloaded and streaming music. All right, that's we'll do it for tonight. And uh, we are out of time. So please join me again next week at the same time and channel for more great music. And remember, you can catch myself and Yuka Sato playing live at La Villa Lupicia and Sansui Niseko nightly. Thanks so much for listening to Into the Mystic. <laughs>